Hey, what's going on guys? Pyrex here, and welcome to part 2 of episode 22. And in this episode, we're going to feature a lot of nice boss drops and some nice clues as well. Uh, I think this is one of my more entertaining episodes of possibly my whole series. Um, so stay tuned for that. And we also have another boss kill in this video. And some great progression. Okay, we are here at the Dagonoth Kings. I'm going to give that a shot. I'm just going to build up some adrenaline. I guess we'll switch over to this. Okay, the first time I built up a lot more. Okay, there's another one. Use these defensive abilities. Build up some more. Close go medium. Alright, so we're gonna go in with melee first. Let's pot up. Oh shit. Ah, oh, we're losing adrenaline. Okay, that wasn't very smart. Uh pot up. I forgot my Excalibur. That was a fail. But let's just run in here. And pre range. And we're going to kill this guy first. And it doesn't look like Rex is aggroed yet, which is nice. Okay, I may as well just put on all the prayers. And we're probably going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Figured that. Well, let's not die. Screw off Rex. Holy shit. Oh crap, here comes Rex. I didn't think I'd need more food for this, but maybe I will. Shit. Can't build up enough, enough adrenaline for <laughs> thresholds. Shit. Oh wow, we're getting clocked. Okay. Okay, round two. And we're all set this time. So let's go in guns hot. <laughs> and kill Prime. Er, yeah, prime. Going down. Hopefully Rex doesn't aggro. Shit, here he comes. No, Rex. He's almost down. God damn, these things hit hard. <laughs> Alright, just die already. What's the drop? Oh, I got really excited there. <laughs> really? I thought that was going to be like an archer's ring or something. Or I guess it would be a Sears ring. Wow, 72 water talismans. What a troll. <laughs> Can't believe that. Ah, that was such a troll. Oh well, we got a drop and we got the kill. So that's another boss off the list. And we are finally done one small favor. Not my favorite quest, but uh, yep, yep. Okay, key ring. Here we go. One small favor is done. Key ring for storm rings, nice. And with this, we will get. Prayer XP and more prayer XP, and we just got 70 prayer. So now we can do the quest to get Piety, Rigor, and Augury. This is pretty awesome. Bless someone else's gravestone, Nomad's Requiem. 
Oh, so I, I can actually just use these now? Okay, yeah, I thought so. So now, King's Ransom. Where is it? There it is. Awesome. So I might be able to get this done before, uh, before I get off tonight. So let's go try that. And we are done, King's Ransom. Got some decent XP there. And we also got a lamp. And I guess we can use that in Herbivore, sure. And now we can do the King's Wave. King's Waves? Or Night, night Wave. Night's Wave? <laughs> night, night Waves? I don't know. Something like that. The plural somewhere. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we are finished with the uh, Night's Waves. And now have access to all those fancy prayers. And also got some nice XP, 77 attack. And close to some others. And there we go. Wait. Oh. Of course, my prayer's gone. Uh. Bridge. Anyway, that is pretty awesome. That'll definitely help with bossing and slayer as well. And get rid of some of my prayer pods now. Okay, man. Oh, fix that. Pray. There we go. Beauty. Got piety, rigor, and augury. Guys, we just got a warrior ring. And uh, thanks to Toys R Us, he's killing uh, Supreme and and uh, <laughs> Supreme, Supreme and Prime. Let's tell him. Yes, guys, there we go, Dragon Hatchet. Sick. Thanks again to Toys R Us. That is awesome. <laughs> I just got a rune one as well. Awesome run this time. Okay, all done that trip. And <laughs> let's check the loot. We got a warrior's ring, we got a dragon hatchet, rune hatchet, loot path key, and a hard clue. Oh, we also got 51 teak planks, which is pretty decent. And ladybugs. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm being sneaky, I didn't tell Toys R Us that I got a dragon hatchet, so he'll have to watch this and find out. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and do this hard clue scroll and uh, see what we get. And we got the chest. So we got my ring wealth on. Let's see what we get. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, that actually just happened. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's so sick. I got the Yukon curse plus the Robin Hood and Mystic Earth Staff. That's so sick. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's gonna look sick for my skilling outfit and stuff. That is so nice. Okay, let's go to the bank here. And where's my Ceridome and Plate Body? There it is. Let's get that with that. And this, this. Uh, what else do we want? We still need some nice legs. We don't have any nice cosmetic legs other than these dragon <laughs> legs, but they're kind of shitty. Right, that's... <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. It's really mismatched though. We need some like Cerdo and plate legs or some sort of cool trimmed leg plate legs. <laughs> that's so sick though, guys. <laughs> Still can't believe that. 
coffers and I actually forgot to deposit money for a while so I'm not sure how good this is going to be but let's check that's yeah, pretty decent actually should have been should have been like double this but oh well I put some money in now so uh, we got some more coal for earthens and we got some more seeds and maples to do to use while I'm uh, editing an AFK <laughs> Guys, it's me, Parodex, and today we'll be doing loot from 82 Bird's Nest. Uh, so maybe we get some good, uh, some good uh, farming seeds from these. Uh, we will see. But uh, I will be back with loot from 82, and we will see what we get. Guys, that was a pretty bad uh, a friend uh, <laughs> impersonation. But uh, this is what we got from 82 Bird's Nest. We got one magic seed, one U seed, five maples, twelve willows, and twenty-two acorns. And then we got uh, the really notable ones: one palm tree, two papayas, four pineapple, and I guess some curry, and some other ones that I probably won't use. Um, I don't really have a goal right now for farming, and after getting ninety on in my main, I don't really feel like doing tree runs. But uh, I really should get into. Uh, Herb runs, as I guess I went over in my last video. Let's dump those in there. Let's just slot these in there. The Grimies can go up there. Um, what do I have for dailies? Bandos, Throne Room, Agility, Magic Logs, Slayer, Snapdragons. I absolutely hate farming dailies because they're so they're so short and they just give them no XP. But that's pretty much what I've been leveling off of <laughs> after 63 that I needed for branches. Um, next up, always click that one. But next up will be Sears Village. So I need to do Scorpion Catcher. And I need to do uh, Fairy Tale, I think. Or at least part of it. And then I have all the requirements for Enhanced Excalibur. And then I just have to do these. And that will help a ton for uh, outlasting at bosses and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And that was a pretty easy quest. Scorpion Catcher is done now. So now, Fairy Tale Part 2, I believe. And that will get me access to the Fairy Rings. And then I can start knocking off all those Sears Village tasks. There's Fairy Tale Part 2 done. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead and do all of our Sears tasks. Okay, guys, all done with that task. Let's get a new one here Mythical Dragons or Hellhounds. I'm having pretty good luck today, so I'm going to go with Mythical Dragons. All done with that task. Let's get a new one here. Did get a clue scroll, so we'll do that in a sec. Ivanzies. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Good thing we have a reroll. Yeah. Samurai arrows, I guess. That's pretty good, actually. Hey, guys. So, something that they didn't tell me in the uh, Sears Village task. Uh, where is it here? Teleport this one you need a combat bracelet for this so uh, For that I need 74 crafting uh, So 71 with a uh, crafting pot boost So I'm gonna have to get uh, around 5,000 silver bars uh, So time to get tumble tracking Just did a bit of tumble tracking I usually do the uh, harder medium lanes, but I tried the easy uh, tracks this time and it's considerably faster and I'm gonna see if uh, it's kinda worth it so let's open all these and I'll be right back yeah that's actually pretty good I got just about 1500 and a bit less than an hour I wasn't really paying too much attention so I probably could have got more but uh, I'm gonna try to do a, a hard hour here and see if I can get uh, like 2000 plus so let's go ahead and try that <laughs> can never seem to get a full uh, straight hour in but Got 18 here, and let's see how many we get from these. Almost 1,900 from 18. I'd say that's pretty good for uh, just blue reward tokens. So let's dump these in the bank. 
And we have 3,500 now, so I'll uh, make those up, and then after Jack of Trades and stuff, we might be pretty close, but I'll probably be like a level or two off, so just about an hour more of Tumble Dragon. That's going to be it for second part of episode 22, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like down below, and as well, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this one. We got some pretty nice drops. And that Robin Hood hat just topped it off. But uh, uh, we're going to be continuing with uh, crafting. And hopefully we can get our Excalibur for next episode. So until then guys, good luck and take care.